the following problems explore this question, which is find a unit's digit of certain powers. Um, and we'll look at a couple basic ones uh, this lesson, and then we'll look at some more complicated as we go, go through these. So this problem says find the unit's digit of 4 to the 323rd power. Okay, so that's an uh, interesting question um, because uh, it's a huge number. If I went to try to find, if you typed in 4 to 323rd power on your calculator, you'd get something that wouldn't show up on your calculator. You'd have to have a very powerful computer to actually compute that. So what we do is we look for a pattern. And so to look for a pattern, we start with 4 uh, to the first. So we look at what is 4 to the first power. Well, 4 to the first power is 4. And then you have 4 to the second power, which is 16. Then 4 to the third power, which is 64. Right, 4 times 4 times 4. 4 to the fourth power is um, 256. And hopefully to this point, you're noticing the pattern, right? 4 to the first, the unit's digit was 4. 4 to the second, 6. 4 to the third, 4. 4 to the fourth, 6. And that's going to make sense because if you go through here and you start multiplying, for instance, if I wanted to do 4 to the fifth, then I would be multiplying by 4. But when you talk about the unit's digit, the only thing that matters, no matter what you have here besides the 4, you know, it could be 256 times 324, the only thing that matters is this first multiplication, 6 times 4, which is 4, right? So even though I don't, have to, I don't have to go through and show you what the rest of that is to know that the unit's digit of 256 times 4 is 4, right? It does turn out to be 1,024, but it doesn't matter. So this pattern is very easy. The odd powers result in a unit's digit of 4. The even powers... The even powers result in a unit's digit of 6. So, for A, the unit's digit of 4 to the 323 is 4. Right? The unit's digit of 4 to the 231st is 4. Right? Because it's odd. And then the unit's digit of 4 to the 3,246 3, is 6. Because it's even. And so those problems are very, very simple because the pattern was very, very easy to discover. Okay, so then we look at maybe a little bit more complicated pro uh, pattern, which is when you deal with the sevens. So you look at 7 to the 23rd. Well, again, you don't want to type that in, and you may not even have a calculator because you don't need a calculator for this problem. So it would just do 7 to the 1st, and you look for the pattern. 7 to the 2nd, 49. 7 to the 3rd equals 343. You maybe didn't know that, so you'd have to work it out. Now, again, it doesn't matter. This is what I want you really to understand. All that matters, and I'm multiplying 49 times 7, is what I get there first, right? I carry the 6 and get 343, but all that mattered was that. So if I want to multiply by 7 again to get 7 to the 4th, it's enough for me to know that that's going to equal 1. right? It turns out to be 2401, but I don't even really need that to find out what the unit's digit of 7 to the 5th is. Because 7 to the 5th, I'm multiplying that 2401 right there, but all, I worry, all that matters on the multiplication for the unit's digit is 1 times 7, and so that's 7. And hopefully you notice, you get back to the 7. And then you could, you, could keep, you could keep multiplying these units digit, and you can see that the pattern just repeats itself. All right, 7 to the 5th uh, was um, 7. 7 to the 6th is 9. 7 to the 7th is, is 3. So now what you see is, it's all based upon this pattern right here. Thus, if the power, when you divide, because there's four numbers in the pattern, if you divide by 4 and get a remainder 1, right, 5 divided by 4 gives remainder 1, you're going to have a 7 as the exponent. If you divide by 4 and you get remainder 2, right, 7 to the 6, I never even figured out what it was, I just know it ends in 9. That's a unit's digit. Seven to, if you divide by 2 and get a remainder 2, if you divide by four, seven, or 4 and get a remainder 2, you get 9 as a unit's digit. Divide by 4 and get a remainder 3, you get 3. And then if you divide by 4 and you get no remainder, that means it goes, you know, it's divisible by 4, then your unit's digit is 1. And that would make more sense if you considered, right, 7 to 0 is going to be 1. Okay? And so that would, you can see that pattern happening over and over again. So in this case, you look at 23, right? Well, to figure these out, we divided by 4. So 23 divided by 4 is going to give us 5, remainder 3. Remainder 3 corresponded to this guy, and that means the unit's digit is 3. 
Do 234. 234 divided by 4. Well, just go through and do the division by hand. So you get a remainder of 2. And a remainder of 2 is this one, which gives me a unit's digit of 9. So the answer is 9. The unit's digit of 7 to the 234th is 9. And then the last one, that's 2336. If we divide 2336 by 4, and you may know that you don't even need, when you're dividing by 4, I don't actually have to go through to 2336. When you're dividing by 4, all that matters are the last two numbers. Right? 2300 is divisible by 4. Every 100 is divisible by 4. So if I just worry about 36, 36 is actually divisible by 4, and I told you when you have no remainder, that is the 7 to the 4th, so the unit's digit is 1. So the unit's digit of the first one was 3, the unit's digit of 7 to the 234th was 9, and the unit's digit of 7 to the 2336 is 1. We will explore some bigger problems. We'll look at a problem like this. This is a very common problem that you would see on a math contest. What is the unit's digit of 2008 to the 2008? And we'll look some more at those later on.